What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel, if you didn't know. So today's video is going to be slightly different, uh, still about eyelash extensions, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how I put my makeup on with my eyelash extensions, what I use and how it doesn't damage my eyelash extensions or it doesn't actually affect my lashes to be quite honest. Um, I don't think I've had any issues I've done with makeup, I've done without makeup and I haven't seen an issue, like any type of difference. So this is what I do. So let's get into it. Also, today I am filming by my beautiful Christmas tree. If you know me, you know that I am Christmas obsessed. Like I love Christmas. So I figured that Let's do like a, a Christmas vibe, you know, I have like burgundy on, contrasting to my tree, which is white and gold, so yeah. Okay, so I used to work at Sephora, I did makeup for uh, a couple years and I was makeup obsessed and everything, but to be honest, right now where I am in my life, I don't really wear that much makeup and I have the exact same makeup routine every day that I do wear makeup and it's usually when I film. And to be honest, it's super simple. Uh, I don't really do much. My lashes do most of the work, so I don't really have to worry about much makeup. Everything, I used to have like a big ass like kit for my makeup, but literally everything I use fits in this little, my little bag here, my little Clinique bag. I already put my moisturizer on. It's just like my first aid beauty moisturizer. Um, I like, like I said, I used to do makeup videos. So if you guys go way back to my videos, you can see all of my makeup videos, all my skincare videos, all that great stuff. This is just what I do now in terms of putting on makeup to not ruin my lash extensions. Because I know a lot of people don't wear makeup because they're afraid they ruin their lash extensions. Or some people do wear makeup and they actually do ruin their lashes. So this is how I do it so it doesn't affect my lashes. Okay, so like I said, I have my moisturizer on, all that great stuff, and then I go and I put my foundation on right away. I don't, honestly, I don't really use primer. It has nothing to do with the lashes. I just, I have, I don't know, I just, I'm not a primer kind of girl. So I use my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Uh, I started using this in like April, May, and it's literally my favorite. I have dry skin, so this is... A, a hydrating uh, foundation but it has um, no oil in it if you know makeup forever is um, non comedogenic so therefore there's no oil therefore it shall not ruin your lashes therefore it is great guys there's like nothing in this okay hold on I have to like do this somewhere else because I have a white rug under me and I'm not trying to mess that up or my mom will kill me can we just talk about this really quick look what I did I literally what okay honestly that wasn't supposed to happen so I started blending it in because I'm going to have to deal with this. So I mean this is great. This is could be a new part of this video. How to get foundation out of your eyelashes. Crap. Okay, let's just blend this in really quick because like oh, it's giving me anxiety. Some may say it's clickbait. Others will understand that I did not intentionally do this. Honestly. I have never been in this situation before. I'm not ex exactly sure what to do. See, like, normally I'd be like, you have to wipe it off. Because if I wash my face right now, it'll come off. But this is the end of the bottle. And I probably won't get another use out of it. And that's exactly why it happened. Because you know when the end it starts to splatter? I'm stuck between a rock and a hard spot. I have a plan. Let's do this. I have a plan. Okay. <sighs> is it going to work? Ooh. What the hell? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. So, my girl that does my lashes, shout out Felicia. She just gave me this. This is her foaming cleanser for her lash extensions that she sells to her clients. I have not tried it yet, but this would probably be <laughs> the best time. So I don't, like, I feel like normally you would just like put it on your lashes and then like scrub, but I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna take off all the foundation on my I, because again, bottles done, don't have any more left. That was literally the last use. So, we're gonna, okay. If I just like, again, on the white rug, oh God, okay. We're just gonna like, <laughs> I'm scared, okay. Okay, okay, it's coming out, it's coming out. Oh, okay, okay. So, lashes. Okay. <laughs> It's working. It has to be working because it's like, I think it's spreading. But no, that means that, okay, let's just put more on the brush. Put more on the brush. 
because I feel like it doesn't have enough. I need to rinse the brush off because I feel like I'm just spreading it all over. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> this is like the biggest disaster I've ever. This is definitely my biggest disaster ever. Okay, this is this is. This is I've never had a YouTube video gone wrong. <sighs> this is definitely it. What if I just press harder? Like, okay, you know what? We're just going in it because. Okay, I'm gonna get a napkin. I need a napkin. Let's get a napkin. I think it's working! Okay, wait, hold on. I think if we just keep doing this, it'll go away. Let's not get out of hand now, but. Okay. I think it worked. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. Honestly, it's good enough. For not wiping off my makeup, it's good enough. That was unexpected. So we continue on. Can we just acknowledge that not one eyelash fell off in that entire process? Wow, that was great. Oh my God, Felicia, good job, girl. My Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. I've been doing this for years. It's literally my favorite thing ever. A little on the nose. Okay, take my beauty blender. I'm just gonna blend it in. When I blend my beauty, like my concealer into my eyes, I'm so scared sometimes that they're gonna touch my lashes, but like, we clearly figured that situation out. I usually blend like down here first and then slowly make my way up so not too much product goes up into my lashes. So I usually go down and then go up. That's literally never happened in my life. Like, what? Like, so we're gonna take some powder. My little flat brush, this is my Huda powder. I use banana bread and uh, go down. I actually find like, I think people have the issue where like powder gets in their lashes, but I don't have that problem, which is great, so. There's powder all up in my hair, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, and then I contour with my beautiful Kat Von D palette using only these three shades. My big ass brush. Guys, honestly, I feel like it's taking long in the video, but honestly, it's because of that minor mishap. But really and truly, I could do this in like a solid like seven minutes. And then, Take my big fluffy brush and just dust that off. And now we are baked. Okay, never used to wear blush. Now I wear blush. So I have my little Milani blush. It has a little highlight in it, hella cute. Honestly, I'll just list all the stuff below because I'm scared to turn these things over and get the name and then they fall on my mom's carpet and she'll kill me. See, a little blush never hurt. Okay, it's a lot of blush. I've learned to embrace the blush. And voila. Okay, honestly though, the one thing I can't live without, and this is a little bit more recent, is like a, a good nose contour. I had a video where I didn't contour my nose and I was literally showing my mom last night and I was like, can you see the difference? Like I have like Pinocchio and then like an Amrezi nose all of a sudden. Like it's just, so I have this little, little angled brush. I don't even know where this is from. This is so, 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 so random. But I just take this guy and you know, you chisel it out. Bam, new nose, who knew? Look at that, honestly, you may not see a difference, but I know, and I'm happy, you know? <laughs> this is so funny, I don't know why, I just think this is hilarious. Okay, and then I take this little Stila highlight, this is all I use, I use so many different things, but I swear, this is like, ugh! Bro, I'm dropping everything, oh my god. So I take this little, little, bleh, little highlight here, and I take this little brush, this is like a Morphe brush, ask me what name, I couldn't tell ya, but it's like, oh, R, 31. Okay, and then right on my nose, on my Cupid's bill, chin, and then obviously where you're supposed to have it. And just blend it in a little here, and that's it. Last thing, can't live without my brows. 
So I use this like Shumera pencil, honestly. I don't really know the name of it, but I'm gonna put it down below. <laughs> it's like really weird, but it was like hella long. It was like this long and I've had it for like two years. So it's great stuff. Okay. Bam. Okay, and literally my last thing is like my lip liner like this is cork from Mac and it's like the best lip liner ever Sometimes I don't even wear lip liner when I do videos. I just put blistex on but today in, on, in honor of this video I will put lip liner and lipstick on so And then I use my fave my bow and arrow because this is life If you're like a tan person and you don't have bow and arrow, something is so wrong. Everyone needs bow and arrow. Like it just, if you need it, you need it. Okay, that is it. That was my quick lash makeup. Honestly, that went in a totally, totally different direction. But So, hope you guys like this video. I will literally list everything down below because I did not name a single product I used. Or maybe like one but like I will totally list everything below but this is how I do my makeup when I wear lashes lashes do the most work so this takes me super super quick like five five ten between five and ten minutes I can do this entire thing it's just like simple and like I don't look like I'm wearing too much makeup I look done fresh ready for the world so yeah that's it so comment down below your favorite part because that was a disaster <laughs> don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time bye